that smell? Woman, I can understand why a whiff of my alluring scent might cause you to freeze up. But if you don't get out of the way, I'll kill you! Don't be ridiculous. I have no interest in someone like you. But the Centurion's core up ahead is far too dangerous. I believe that must be Relina. Dex, stop it! Aster! Marta, don't you dare get in my way! You sure you can survive without going all Ratatosk mode on me, kid? <laughs> How do you like this power? How do you like this beauty? How do you like this aroma? Why can't I go in the Ratatosk mode? Without it, I can't... Now die as you yearn for me! I'm gonna die. Help me. The other me, you have to help me! You always make me do your dirty work. Door to the boundary. Open! We're saved, but... Yeah, what was that anyway? It sucked Relina right in. Emil, was that a power of Knight of Ratatos? I think so. You think so? That's a little vague. I just said the words that popped into my head. You can blame Ratatos for that. Can you make the rift open again? Relina is trapped inside. How the hell should I know? I don't even know how I did it in the first place. Who cares about that woman anyway? What are you saying? We can't just leave her like that. Aren't you worried about her? What do I care? Anyway, there's nobody in our way now. We can go look for the Centurion's core. What the hell? What was that for? You're despicable. I may have an idea where Relina went. Really? The technique Emil just performed is reminiscent of that which Lord Ratatosk used to return the Centurions to their altars. Therefore, I believe Relina may have been sent to one of the altars. Ratatosk is able to transport people that easily? No, he should only be able to do it with Centurions. Which leads me to believe that someone inside the Rift may be in possession of a Centurion's core. Power reacting with the core may have pulled in those nearby as well. Hmm, uh, that sounds complicated. So where are you saying Relina is? If my theory is correct, she would be at the altar of a Centurion whose core neither we nor Lloyd currently possess. So lightning or earth? And let's check out the altar here. Let's go. <sighs> you used back there was really something. That wasn't me. It was Ratatosk. You said something about a boundary. Can Ratatosk's power affect the very fabric of space and time? Such power can only be used to a limited degree. If Rain were here, she'd be demanding a repeat performance, no doubt. Shouldn't we be hurrying to the altar? You're that worried about this woman? Of course I am. Not that I'd expect an insensitive jerk like you to understand. What? Ugh. Light seal! 
It seems we won. You want to die? Weapon. That has nothing to do with me. You're too late. No, you are. What? If you were just a little bit quicker, you wouldn't have had to deal with me. <sighs> you zip around from one place to another like a pesky flea. But this time you won't be getting away. Now hand over the core! I don't have time to play with you. 
Oh, so you want to fight? That sounds good to me. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Just shut up and hand it over! <laughs> Don't say I didn't warn you. Catch you later. You damn bastard! <laughs> What's that? Watch out! That thing's giving off a lot of juice! Damn it! Get out of my way! Now to take care of Lloyd. I am afraid it will have to wait, Emil. I am unable to sense Tonitrus' presence right now. Huh. That coward sure knows how to run away. Then I suppose Relina isn't here either. Which means that she must be at Solom's altar. Then we need to go to the Temple of Earth, right? It's been closed for a while because of the shaking from the quake. Hopefully they've reopened it by now. That would mean returning to the Meltokyo region. But before we proceed, I suggest that we talk to Director Schneider. That's a good idea. Wait a minute! Look, I'm sorry, all right? So now will you stop ignoring me? Marta. I hope Relina 
Anna is all right. I'm worried that she got sucked in with the Vanguard. I hope she isn't attacked by Dax. It's the cores they're after. I doubt they'd harm a woman who has nothing to do with all this. You're worrying over nothing. Sheena, Regal, Tenebrae, let's get going. Hey, Marta! I make it a rule not to speak to insensitive creeps. What are you talking about? Damn it! Hey, Marta, about that monster. Sheena, I'm starving, aren't you? Yeah, I guess. Marta, are you listening? Hey! Tenebrae, are you picking up anything about Relina's whereabouts? I'm afraid that is impossible. She would need to have a connection to Lord Ratatosk. Come on, Marta! Regal, we should really be getting back to see Director Schneider, right? Uh, yes. Damn it! Enough is enough! You want to die? Light seal. Light seal. The Barrage seal. It's over. Triple kick. <laughs> reports the Vanguard was here. They were, but they've left. <laughs> so you're here cleaning up the corpses of wimps? At least you're making yourself useful. Emil! What? Why are you so pissed off? Are you all right? Yeah, I just had this weird memory again. Memory? The one where Richter is killing me. Maybe you're right. Maybe I am Master after all. We won't know for sure until we ask Relina. Huh. If I may, I have a matter to discuss with you. Well, we're in a bit of a rush. Perhaps we should take a short break here. Even if we hurry to the Temple of Earth, the entrance won't be cleared yet. I'm fine with that. Sheena, I hate to impose, but might I possibly relay a message to my company via your messenger here? Sure. Come with us then. Emil, Marta, you two can wait here.
It was my power that made it possible to protect you all this time. I'm sure you... But Emil would never give up on saving Relina. Relina? <laughs> he only cares about her because he's so desperate to know who he is. Well, I don't care who I am. I only care about protecting you. No one else matters. No, that's not the Emil that I love. You're not Emil at all. Give Emil back! Let him come out! So even you would choose that coward over me. What's so bad about being a coward? Afraid or not, Emil tried his best to protect me. Sure, then he calls me in whenever things get too rough. He's the one who asked me for help. I'm not giving myself to him anymore. I won't do it! Sorry for the wait. I had a few things I needed to... Hey, what's with you two? Did you have a fight? If they care enough about each other to fight, they're fine. Leave them be, Regal. Right.
I see. I'll hold on to Relina's research notes for now. Emil! <laughs> I'm not really Emil, right? Then hurry up and let him come back out! You two, calm down. You're making a scene in front of Director Schneider. I'm sorry. <laughs> Director, just how much do you know about Ratatosk? I've heard that Ratatosk possesses the power to manipulate mana, the source of all life. I believe that he used monsters to balance the distribution of mana in the world. It said he was the summon spirit of the giant Karlon tree which produced the world's mana. Richter refers to Ratatosk as the Demon Lord. Do you know anything about that? Richter's been saying such things ever since he returned from his field study, but it's nonsense. If a demon lord were to exist, it would be a creature from Nivelheim, the demonic realm. But Ratatosk is a summon spirit. He is of this world. Nivelheim. Sina, you've been to Nivelheim? Of course not, but I did catch a glimpse of it once. The researchers at the Elemental Research Laboratory in Mel Tokyo may know more about Ratatosk. Relena is working from there nowadays, and her research materials and notes are there as well. We are bound for Mel Tokyo in any case. It might be worth it to pay the lab of. Please, help Relena. So then, that letter from Rain wasn't a love letter after all. I'm a bit disappointed. <laughs> A woman of her quality deserves a far better man than I. Perhaps Rain and Regal are both simply too attractive for the match to ever work. No way. That's exactly why they're perfect for each other. There is another to whom I've already pledged my heart. What? There is? However, she has passed on. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, there is no need to be. I'm the one who can't seem to lay the past to rest. I'm sure she's glad to have you keeping her memory alive, though. I'm actually a little jealous. Thank you. <sighs> Why don't you guys say something? <clears throat> uh, I can't stand this sort of thing. Do something, Regal! Let them be. The problem is theirs. They will solve it on their own. Yeah, I guess. But they're driving me up the wall. 